Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here, and today we're gonna talk about how to color grade the D-Log footage from the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. So we could take it from this to this. Now on their website, DJI actually has a LUT specifically for the Osmo Pocket 3 to convert it to Rec. 709. Gamma 2.4. So you can go to their website, download it, install it into your video editor. For me, I use DaVinci Resolve and it'll make it really simple. Now I've been shooting with the Osmo Pocket 3 for some time now and I absolutely love it as a vlogging cam or just a behind the scenes cam. So I've actually been using D-Log, but when I did the color space transform process in DaVinci Resolve for the DJI D-Log profile, it was giving me some weird colors. So I was like, what's happening here? And that's because their D-Log M is different from their D-Log profile. And this camera uses D-Log M. Now really quick, I wanna give a big shout out to Darren Mostyn. He's an exceptional colorist with an incredible YouTube channel that teaches a lot about color grading, specifically in DaVinci Resolve, which I use. And I've learned a lot from watching his videos over the last couple of years. Now he just dropped the video that breaks down what I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So I actually learned it from him. So you guys could either stop watching this video, go watch his video completely, or you can watch this short version here that I have that I'm gonna show you guys and then get more details from his video. Either way, I highly recommend go check out his channel and subscribe. All right, so just go to your browser, search for DJI D-Log M LUT. And one of your first results should be one directly from the DJI.com website. I'm gonna select the one that says DJI LUT official download. Then from there, you're gonna see various cameras. We're gonna go to handheld and go to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log M to Rec. 709 LUT. Click on download. Then here you'll have the option for Mac or Windows. I'm gonna select Windows and then just download. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. Go to the bottom right corner to the settings option. Go down to color management on the left. Scroll down and then you'll see lookup tables. Select Open LUT Folder. Now this is gonna open up your actual folder with LUTs. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab that LUT that you downloaded. So you can just paste the file in here, or if you wanted to put it in a folder, you could. I'm just gonna paste it in here. Go back to DaVinci, select Update List, Save, close DaVinci and reopen it. So here I have a video of an Osmo Pocket 3 in D-Log M. To actually use the LUT, we're gonna go into the color page. Now it's very important to know, whatever nodes you're gonna be using, to color grade your image, the LUT needs to go at the end. So whatever your last node is, and then you'll make all your adjustments in the nodes before. So you're gonna be making all your adjustments that lead into that final node that's gonna convert it to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So we'll start off with that last node. So right click on that node, go to LUT, and then you're gonna see here DJI Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log M to Rec. 709 V1. Select that. And now you are in Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. Now in most log footage, you need a CST, Control Space Transform, as your first node. And then you'd have a final node that's also a Color Space Transform, CST. But because D-Log M is not really D-Log, it's actually Rec. 709 with more dynamic range, we're not gonna be using these nodes with a CST in the beginning and a CST at the end. Because we're already working in 709, that's why we're putting this last node which has the LUT on it, which takes that flatter image and transforms it to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. That might be a little confusing, but to keep it simple, no CST node in the beginning, no CST node at the end. All you need is your final node to have the LUT that we downloaded and installed chosen. Do that first and then work on your grading on all the nodes before this final node. So we disable it. You can see that's really flat. Enable it. That's Rec. 709 2.4 ready. And then again, we can make all your adjustments in these nodes. Now in my color management settings, my default settings of all my projects are always set right here to Timeline Color Space DaVinci Wide Gamma Intermediate and Output Color Space Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. So that's the entire project. And then when I'm grading footage, let's say with that Sony, I have my CST for S-Log3 to DaVinci Wide Gamma DaVinci Intermediate. And then my last node, CST at the end, DaVinci Wide Gamma DaVinci Intermediate to Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4. And when I'm working with the Osmo Pocket 3 footage, no CST in the beginning, no CST at the end, just the final node having the LUT applied. Now, if you end up working in Gamma 2.2 instead of 2.4, you will need one more node after this. Let's change our project to have Rec. 709 Gamma 2.2. And then that final node, you will use a color space transform, CST. So do your input color space, Rec. 709, input gamma 2.4, 
which again, the LUT is set to 2.4. Output color space, Rec. 709, and output gamma, 2.2. Again, this is if you are finalizing your video in 2.2. Then you'll have to use a CST at the end to take the 2.4 to 2.2. But if your project is being output in gamma 2.4, like mine is, then you don't need that last node. All you need is that one node with the LUT. Without the conversion, you can see it's very flat, and then with it active, and again, anything you want to do, if you want to bring up shadows, bring down highlights, saturation, any of your color grading, you want to do it in the nodes before that last LUT node. Now on this channel, I do have a DaVinci Resolve playlist with a lot more tutorials, so go ahead and check that out. So there you guys have it. That's how simple it is to color grade the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 D-Log M profile in DaVinci Resolve. Again, I did get this from Darren Mawson. Big shout out to him and his channel. Go check that out. And hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions. And please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.